All right, so for those of you who I gave handouts to, we're going to work a little bit on ratios and proportions. For those of you who are taking tests, just keep on taking your tests. And uh, as best as you can, try to tune me out. Um, and we do have a lot of people taking tests tonight, so that if, if me talking and us doing the class becomes too difficult for you, um, Thursday night will be better. <laughs> All right, so tonight we're going to talk about um, ratios and proportions. Um, again, one of the key GED skills that we want to have, um, we'll see some questions like this on the test. Um, so let's look at page 137. A ratio is a comparison of numbers by division. Okay, so we're going to compare two numbers. A ratio can be written with the word two. It can be written with a colon or it can be written as a fraction. Like a fraction, a ratio always should be reduced. Right? So we talked about that. Any problem we do on the GD, you might get the answer right, but you need to reduce it to its lowest term. Reducing a ratio, a ratio is sometimes called simplifying. The following are three ways to write a ratio of the number of men to the number of women working in the factory, 150 to 100, um, or 3 to 2. Um, and so this should give you some examples about how to write it. So let's look at our classroom here, right? Now the key thing with ratios is that whatever I refer to first goes first. So if I say clocks to doors, how many clocks are there in the room? One. How many doors are there in the room? One. So it'd be one to one. If I said the ratio of tables to cabinets, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the ones we're sitting in. So we have nine tables to how many cabinets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the ratio of tables to cabinets is nine to eight. Let's talk about the ratios of men to women, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 1, 2, 3, the ratio of men to women, 12 to 3, that has been reduced, and that would be 4 to 1, or 4 to 1, or 4 to 1, okay? So a ratio is a comparison of two things, one number to another number. And whichever is referred to first is always what you put first. And it does matter, because if I said ratio of men to women, I'm referring to men first, but I say eight to nine, that's not going to be right, because eight is, or what are we doing here? Tables to cabinets. If I said the ratio of, of tables to cabinets, and I turn around and put cabinets to tables, that's not the same ratio. The ratio of tables, nine, to cabinets, eight, is a specific ratio. That's nine to eight. The ratio of cabinets to tables is eight to nine, right? So there's two totally different numbers, okay? So when we're doing ratios, the key thing you got to remember is that you got to lead off, put in the first position, either here, here, or here, the <coughs> first position, the first thing that's referred to. Okay? And that's something as we go through and do some of these work problems we're going to see.